Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you what is the best software for recording games and I'm gonna uh, present you uh, too many uh, kind of software that you used to record with, with them that I used to record with them and as you know there is uh, a lot of them and yeah I have tried all of these softwares and I can tell you uh, the plus and drawbacks for every software. So first of all, let's start with Fraps. So Fraps, it's a good software if uh, you have like a good graphic card and if you have a lot of uh, uh, space in your hard drive. So for me, the plus for uh, uh, Fraps is it has the best quality ever. So when you record with Fraps, it's always the best quality, better than the other softwares. But it has a lot of drawbacks. It takes more space in your hard drive while recording and the video isn't converted. For example, for one minute, you record uh, one gigabyte. So it's a lot. And also it records everything in your screen. I mean by, by that that when you are uh, recording, with Fraps, it records everything. For example, I'm using always uh, MSI Afterburner, uh, and I want to know like my graphic card uh, uh, if it's used fully, for example, and how much FPS I have. So while recording Fraps, it records these things. So it's really annoying when you want to play it in your, or upload it in YouTube. So there's another thing, so there are just less options, you don't have a lot of options, depends on your graphic card. So there is a drop of FPS, and only good graphic card can use it without lag. Okay, now we're gonna talk about Action. So Action is a good uh, software for graphic card that is not like a, a good graphic card, like average graphic card. And it and uh, it can be used with almost every graphic card, and it takes less space on your hard drive while recording the video, and it's converted. And there is no drop of F FPS, and it's really smooth. But the problem is when you are recording, it's recorded with bad quality, so. Uh, it's not good to put like bad quality video on YouTube and yeah it's really annoying let's talk about uh, the famous one Shadowplay so Shadowplay is a good one with just a GTX graphics card so you can't use it if you have like GT graphic card or like the average graphic card it records with uh, good quality and it takes less space on your hard drive while recording too. No drop FPS, easy to use, and the same thing like Fraps, it records everything on your screen. And uh, like I said before, with the, that MSI information. So, and you have less choices of games. So, you can't record every game, you have just uh, a less choices for example like you see here the game that you can record with shadow play and there are some games that you can't record with it for example for me Icarus or Blade and Soul Russian server so we, I can't record with shadow play so in there is another one with the AMD uh, gaming evolve so it's almost the same as uh, Shadow play, but in addition to that, you can stream and record more than 5,000 games, so it's a good one. But it still has the same problem you can't use it with every graphic card, so you have a limited choices of graphic card. Uh, as you see here, uh, yeah, here, so you can just record with gaming evolve if you have just graphics card uh, 7700 
or higher for desktop and for laptop 7700 7, m or higher so that you can record with this and the last one is my favorite one it's called bandicam so bandicam is a software that you can record with every graphic card doesn't matter what is your graphic card if it's good or not good so we can record with it you just need to know every options and use the suitable one so Bandicam you can record with good quality and it takes less space no drop of FPS more options it depends on your graphic card you can disable everything that you have in your screen while recording so you won't have like these uh, things on your screen while you're recording. You can see it by yourself, but while you're recording, it's gonna delete it. So you won't see it in, on the recording video. So uh, it's useful also for tutorials. You have uh, like the choice between using uh, full screen uh, gaming or full screen while doing tutorial, like I'm using it, it right now. And it can be used by AMD and NVIDIA and Intel HD graphics. So every graphic card can use it. So it's really good. There is only one drawback. It's a bit complicated and confusing for someone who uses it for the first time. So if you use it for the first time, you will be like confused by too many options but i will explain you all these things on the next video so i hope that you like this video and uh, if you like this uh, presentation you can share it and like it and subscribe see ya for more videos